What's up you glorious sim racers out there? Today we are going to be reviewing the next level racing. Tight. <laughs> next level racing keyboard and mouse stand. So, uh if you see there in the background, move my mouse off of here. I also have a uh next level racing uh wheel stand DD that I'm going to be reviewing here shortly as well. Uh, so be patient. I will bring that to you. I am going to be testing that one out for a good couple weeks uh, from this day forward before I bring you the review because I'm going to put it through its proper paces, mount a different bunch of different stuff up there, which I will show you and let you know. So this next level racing wheel stand actually is pretty dang awesome. Uh, you know, do you need one? Yes, you need one. No. <laughs> uh, do you, are you going to want one after this review? Probably, depending on your situation. Uh, so, you know, who is this thing really for? And I'm going to go back to my notes here because I have some notes. Here, I'm going to zoom up here on these so I can see them. So, you know, in the past, when I bought sim rigs, uh, I always looked for, and Everybody always looks for a keyboard and mouse solution to their sim rig because I didn't like having something separate, right? And uh, but after some time of going through quite a few rigs, I've come to realize that well, a not every rig offers a keyboard or mouse solution, or even one or the other. Certainly, they don't usually offer both. So, uh, but the ones that do, I never found the mouse solution to be right and be located where. I can easily comfortably use it. Uh, I always have to reach up here uh, to get to it. Or the keyboards, keyboard X stands actually usually work great. I use the Simitech K2 keyboard swivel and awesome, loved it. And uh, however, I have rearranged my sim rig area here to allow more room to get around the rig. My PC is not over there anymore. It is over here to the left of me, which had me have to remove the keyboard uh, mount because it was it hits my enormous PC over here and uh, so I needed a solution luckily next level racing they sent me the um, wheel stand DD over there to review and to my surprise they threw this in there as well which is of course you know the wheel stand and mouse loving this thing I'm gonna knock this review out first before I get on that one like I was saying but um, so you're always looking for I'm looking for a solution. So kind of, you know, who is this thing for? Uh, I say it's for people that needs to move out of the way. Like me, you got a small area. When I'm done with this, I'll sim race maybe for a couple of hours or something or an hour a day. Uh, generally about an hour a day I sim race. When I'm done with it, I need to pick this bad boy up and put it over to the side. By the way, this thing weighs 13 pounds assembled without your keyboard and mouse on it's just very sturdy you're not gonna knock this thing down okay it's all metal construction uh it's not going anywhere now so that was one who who needs what who's it for you know it's for the person that needs to move out of the way uh if you if you're someone that has a powerful wheel now my swiveled out uh keyboard stand it would start to move in on me from the great forces of my AccuForce V2 Pro. Uh, I would find that you know when I have my headset on in VR, I'd always have to push it out of the way uh, to get it off of me because it'd be hitting my leg. I could easily remedy that by tightening it up to uh, keep it from moving around on me. However, I did like the swivel feature to use uh, when I did need to use it. So. But like I said, had to remove it, needed another solution as well, so this came at a good time. But if you're someone that's using a high powerful wheel, you're probably gonna find that you're, you don't like having the keyboard stand hooked up to it, especially even if you have motion and your whole motion is moving around, your keyboard's gonna go flying. So same with your mouse. So this gets it off the rig. Uh, it's kind of like if you have monitors mounted to your rig, it's not generally a great idea because as your, your your wheels vibrating around when you're driving, your monitors are moving around with you as well. So you'll see in the industry that a lot of people go with monitors mounted separately, not attached to the rig. And that's kind of the norm nowadays and you know, from 2017 on to right now, 2019, we're looking at. Um, 
So really the same principles go to your keyboard and, and, and mouse as well. You really want to get it away from your rig, away from the vibrations from all your transducers, maybe motion like me, strong wheelbase like a Fanatec uh, B2, or the CSLs, or uh, obviously direct drive wheels, any direct drive solution. Uh, that is who really kind of needs a separate one. Now, if you are just a console racer out there and um, probably don't even use a keyboard and mouse, so this really isn't for you because uh, you're just using the controller on, on your console. However, if you start to dabble into the PC market, I would say, hey, you might need to pick this up. So anyway, that's kind of who it's for, I think. Uh, you know, just go over the product description really quickly, because uh, I don't like to just read box art to you. <laughs> but it did come actually packaged very well. Uh, I did not see the retail packaging of it. Uh, it was kind of the uh, reviewer packaging for this one. However, for the DD box, I did see the retail package of, of that for the wheel stand itself. Look great. Um, but uh, yeah, dimension wise, this thing, this is 26 by 34. So it can expand up very high. Right now, you know, I'm about, I don't know, two feet off the ground, it looks like. Um, so expanding up in the air is not a problem. I am probably setting in the most optimal position that you would normally set in a sim rig. Uh, I use the over under uh, method here. You can actually adjust this thing to be left, right, or vice versa. Obviously put it on either side of your rig you want. But anyway, I, I digress. Get back to the actual dimensions of this bad boy here. Um, it's so easy to get, get sidetracked uh, when you're talking about uh, products you know you're enthusiastic about so uh but anyway 26 by 34 overall inches the 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 keyboard stand itself is 26 by 34 so check your keyboard size that you may be wanting to use this on see if it fits on here uh this is a corsair k63 no problems with it obviously fitting here if i move it over to the far edge i still got quite a bit of room i could literally just use my mouse up here as well if i wanted to uh, and not even use the bottom one. However, I do like keeping them separate. I generally set my cell phone right here. Um, uh, but yeah, the, uh, bottom tray is a, what is a seven by eight as well. Uh, plenty of room. If I swivel this. Let me loosen up the clamps here. Right here. Oops, wrong way. I was to swivel this out of the way. You can see my bottom mouse tray a little bit better here. You can see that you have plenty of room here to rest your wrist here and you know not go off the keyboard. Now, these things obviously are not made for the gamer that is setting their playing uh, shooters like Call of Duty or, or, or Battlefield or, or something like that. You know, these are really catered for us sim users to be able to move this thing around where we need it. So the other uh probably uh would not apply so uh the whole thing of course weighs 13 pounds uh box weight is 17 pounds uh so with packaging and stuff uh of course it works with all the brands out there because obviously it's portable you can move it around anywhere you want it it does work of course with the next level racing enough so that if you were to look at the bottom feet down there uh they will actually slide underneath uh, your your wheel stands that's next level racing makes so now you will notice it has the feet down there and that is only one thing that I would suggest as a suggestion for this product is to offer the uh, rollable or the lockable caster wheels for us people that use carpet uh, and roll it around make it lockable obviously like you offer on your stands uh, for those people that may be on wood floors or, or tile or linoleum or whatever. Uh, but being that this thing is, is fairly hefty, just the stand itself, you know, you have to pick it up, pick it up and move it. Uh, it would be nice just to be able to roll it around into position. Uh, heck, I would pay extra for the caster wheels as an option. Uh, but, you know, throw in 10 bucks or something for that. <laughs> uh, I would I would gladly pay. But it would be nice to at least have that option on their website, at least maybe to throw it in the bag for buying stuff. Something to consider. Now, uh, the rest of this is very straight, 
straightforward. I think I'll throw up a video of me actually assembling it, but assembling it, if you can assemble anything that you've bought from, you know, a, a department store that comes with instructions and stuff, uh, same thing here. This one actually does come with the instructions here. Nice booklet. Uh, it explains all the steps here. You know, of course, look about, look at what you need and get it in the camera. Uh, or, sorry, what's in the box, right? Uh, and then, of course, your step by step here. Get that in focus. Step four and six, four, five, six. And of course, it goes into talking about the adjustability of it all. So very straightforward. You can go ahead and pre-download the instructions off their website, give you an idea of what's involved uh, with building it. But very straightforward, very easy to build. Um, so I don't want to bore you with doing a build. I just want to get in the nitty gritty. How do I like it? Building's easy. Um, so what do I think about it? <laughs> Let's get into that part. So. All in all, the only thing negative or addition, like I said, I would add to this rig is the caster wheels, lockable caster wheels uh, for my preference as far as rolling it around, making it easy to roll around. Uh, as far as assembly, cinch, adjustability, I'll show you that. So adjustability, love it. It's really good here. So I loosened up this keyboard mount here and you will see these two little dials here. Now these are pretty standard in the industry as far as uh, seeing them used for other furniture and stuff. And this has a little hook right here um, that is hooked like that. And you can easily slide your wire over it or under it rather to hold it in place, your keyboard wire. And uh, there's also one over here on the side over here that you can run down the pole and slide your keyboard and mouse wires through that. Uh, but these obviously, this is plastic, a plastic housing. This is mounted to a metal rod. This is a one piece L rod. And um, of course you can adjust it with the height right here, uh, moving it up. It is actually fairly stiff. I'm gonna stick my foot down here, a bit contortionist. And you can see that can go up pretty dang high. <laughs> if you were someone that really needed it up high, maybe you're a seven foot pound, seven foot fella. <laughs> and your rig sets up high, or maybe you're on a platform uh, where you mount your rig to a platform, uh, this does actually go up quite high. Uh, so that actually should uh, handle, man, a wider range of people's needs. Uh, Cause you know, obviously then the, the mouse stand itself goes up as well. That of course is separately adjustable as well. I mean, loosen this bad boy up and you can see that you can adjust that up and down as well any position you want. Now you could take this off, flip it on the other side. Same with this, this one too. Uh, you could have your keyboard here and your mouse over here to the left, vice versa. Should encompass really all of your needs. Uh, let me see, where do I like it here? Put it back down to where I like this bad boy. Oh, snug it up right there. This one as well. Good, mine actually sets down low enough to where this uh, mouse pad uh, stand sets on top of the the actual uh, uh, main rod assembly. So uh, going into the material used, everything is very well tightly stitched, nice and professional, uh, nice cushion pad here. You don't necessarily need such a cushiony pad for your keyboard. Uh, but it is nice. This is non-slip material. It doesn't slide off. And even this being a nice texture, it feels good uh, with, um, you know, their logo imprinted on here. It's, it's no snags on it or anything like that. So what I look for is a nice smooth surface. Uh, it's really good. Really top quality stuff here. Of course, here you can see, didn't want to use their keyboard um, pads. And, you know, you can put your own on there but this is how it looks. Uh, like I said, you got two adjustable arms or two adjustable uh, tensioners here to tighten it up. Obviously this is being a one piece L rod design here. makes it very sturdy. Your keyboards are generally your heaviest uh, item that you'll be using. So it does need to be sturdy. Now I'm gonna swivel that back up out of the way again. Look, let's look at the mouse pad itself. 
Now the mouse, um, well, I gotta loosen that bad boy up too. This being the, what did what I say, a seven by eight area here. Uh, this actually works really well as far as having enough room. The only thing I, I don't like, I guess, a negative is this lip right here tends to dig in on my wrist. It would be kind of nice for at least the keyboard one. I'll move it back out so you can see it. To have like a little plastic lip cover that you can just slide over here. That'd be really cool to have. To just to keep the metal from digging into your wrist with people like me with heavy hands. Uh, but I mean, it's such a minor, minor thing. And this is not something that you just use constantly. So I could see it not being added uh, or maybe thought about. I'm sure they thought about it, but uh, but maybe not adding it. But yeah, very minor issue here. Now, the only thing I don't like, well, I have this loose right now, so it does wobble. Uh, and then this, of course, has one uh, adjuster here where you can slide, loosen that up. Slide this in and out like so. Want to? Uh, this flange here, in camera, is plastic flange, so you can see uh, that it, it can tend to sag. Okay, not a big deal. Of course, it's adjustable to go up and down the rod. But let's tighten this thing up here. I'll show you. Now, it has these little set screws here as well. One on each side that you can tighten up and you really only need to tighten it up until these two halves come together that would be considered snug as a bug in a rug and then of course swivel out that bad boy right there and i'll slide this back in a little bit and you can see that it doesn't i mean if you put some take this off here put a little pressure that's actually the carpet moving doesn't really move much. It does have a slight sway in it right there. Hopefully you can pick that up in the camera with my camera kind of moving with me on the seat, but uh let me just lean forward here maybe. There you go. Get a little slight sway in it. Now that's not bad. I mean it's just holding a, a, a mouse that's a few ounces and then a little bit of your uh body weight here, your hand weight here. So it's not it's not too bad. I would love to see this to be like a uh, metal piece instead, kind of like similar to like what we do with this L. This doesn't sag at all because it's all metal, welded together, nice and welds here. Uh, but being that they have to uh, slide this onto the shaft uh, during assembly, and you know they're using a little plastic piece here. So it is what it is. It works fine. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I would rather it be a little less. Got to consider the price of this. $129. Right? $129 is a really fair price for what you're getting here. And it's really hard to complain. And I have to really find something to nitpick about on this thing. But like anything, even if my own designs that I design stuff, I can find something wrong with it, right? So this uh, swivel here only has one clamp. Obviously, it's, it's, it's very small, seven by eight. You only need one clamp here. No problems with that. I tend to move it on up close to this flange here, snug it up, set it and prevent it. Set it, forget it, right? I will probably let's see. I'm going to raise this back up just a tad. Nice thing about this, how you can just raise things up and lower this bad boy down a little bit. Lower the mouse part down. That back up there. So you can see, you know, how easy it is. I'm adjusting it on screen to my liking, and you can see that. Works really good. Now you saw that the keyboard tried to kind of come off. That is something you have to be careful of. If you have a thick keyboard like me, uh, it may want to slide off, but the thickness of this is still thin enough that even a thick keyboard like myself, uh, it doesn't move around. It doesn't, it doesn't slide off or nothing, right? I don't lose it. Uh, so yeah, it does its job. That right there. And I think that's where I like it. Tighten this up. As you can see, 
very easy to use. Very easy to adjust. Adjust it to your liking. I'm gonna tighten this one down here up. That is it. So all in all, you know, what do I think about this? I think if you're a person that needs something that is that needs to be moved around in your in your play space, can't go wrong with the next level racing keyboard and mouse stand. It's very sturdy. It's uh, way sturdier than the solution I was using that I would easily knock across the room. Uh, so yeah, I like it. Check it out on their website. Links below uh, to their website. I'm sure it's gonna become available on Amazon in the future. And if you watch this video in the future, I'll update with the Amazon link, uh, Amazon affiliate link, or new as well as a new egg affiliate link and uh, search around for it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was was informative enough uh, for you. Give you the overall dimensions, give you my impressions of it. You got to see me just kind of roll through, adjusting things the way I like them after showing you some features of it. Uh, so you can actually see it in action and, and working really well. I actually have a wire on here on mine because I'm charging this keyboard, but like I said, it does have a little loom down here. Plenty big enough for your keyboard and your mouse stand. That's fairly heavy. I don't want to pick it up while I'm sitting here and, and rotate it around to show you, but trust me, it's plenty big. Uh, and that'll contain your contain your cables while it goes down the shaft. Down the shaft, rather. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll catch you next time. And uh, next up will be the DD Wheel Solution. So I am out. Be on the track.